Thank you, Jesus. I come with message today. I call it Breaking the Limitations. And it is for somebody here. It has to be for you. If it is not for you, it is for your neighbor double. But I know it's for you. Tell your neighbor it's for you. And tell them it's time to break the limitation. We have to break the limitation. Say it again. I will break the limitation. First Chronicle chapter 4 verse 9 to 10. Heidi will be happy because this is her verse. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother named him Jabez saying, because I bore him with pain. Now, I like this now. There had to be a now for everybody. Do you see? Do you see the transition between the verse 9 and the verse 10? They are telling us all his struggle and this guy has no future. They are telling us this, this case was closed, the case was settled. He has done it all. At the end, the conclusion was his pain. is a struggle. Now, Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you will bless me indeed and enlarge my border. Tell somebody, oh Lord, oh Lord, that you may bless me, may bless me. And, enlarge and enlarge my border. My border. Say it again and believe it. Lord, Lord bless, me bless me and enlarge and my border. Stand up on your feet and say it. Lord, Lord bless me and enlarge Lord. my border. My One more time. Lord, Lord bless me bless and enlarge Lord. my border. I want you with say to enlarge by making a move like this. By enlarging my border. Say, Lord, Lord bless me, me and enlarge Lord. my border. Lord. One more time with strength. Lord, Lord. bless me. Bless me. Enlarge. Lord. Enlarge. Lord. Enlarge. Lord. Enlarge. Lord. Enlarge. Lord. My border. Lord. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Give a clap offering to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There need to come a time in the life of a man or a woman where he has to throw everything in it. There need to come a time for a boy, a girl, where you cannot hold anything back. You have to literally throw everything in it. This morning, I want to quicken you, to empower you, and to bring you in a place where you will take a decision before the God of heaven. Yes. That you may throw everything in. You will not hold back anything. No fear will hold you back. No worries will hold you back. If there was a time you need to take a chance on God, I will say it's now. The world is not changed by calculative people. The world is not changed by careful people. The world is changed by radical individuals. People who dare. In the face of obstacles, they are ready to throw everything in. That's the type of people who change the world. And our world is waiting for such people. Our world is waiting for such individuals. Men and women who say to themselves, as for me and my house will serve the Lord. I have nothing to lose. I am going to throw everything into it. I'm speaking to women primarily here. The estate generation is not a generation of cute, pretty beautiful, attractive. No, no, no. You miss it. The estate generation is not a generation that walk with a Michael Kors bag. That's not the estate generation. The estate generation is not the girl that everybody turned back to look at. That's not the estate generation. The estate generation is a woman who decide, I have nothing to lose. If I fail, I fail. If I succeed, I succeed. If I perish, I perish. I hold nothing back. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yeah. If it works, praise the Lord. If it doesn't work, save me, God. Yeah. If it 
it works, praise the Lord. If it doesn't work, save me, oh Lord. Christian, we are too careful. We calculate too much. We are so afraid, we don't want to step out. That is over for you. I said we will not hold back. We need to throw everything in. If it works, we give praise to God. If it does not work, we ask God for help. Are you hearing me, somebody? Tell your neighbor, if it works, praise God. If it doesn't work, help me, Lord. Save me, Lord. But I will re I refuse to sit back. You remember the four lepers? Sitting at the gate of Samaria? When Jerusalem, Samaria is locked in by the enemy... These people heard the message, even though they were not in the closet of the message. And they said to themselves, hey, buddy, we've been sitting here, locked out in the colony of the lepers. If we sit here, we will die. If we go out there, they will stone us, we will die. If we we'll go out, we will die. I'd rather going out dying than sitting here dying. Am I speaking to somebody this morning? I say, I'd rather go out dying than sitting here dying. I'd rather go out dying than returning back dying. I don't go back. I have to go forward. On the car of my life, there is no return back. There is no rear back. There is only forward. Tell your neighbor, there is only forward. There is only forward. We refuse to go back. We refuse to get intimidated. We are a radical uh, generation. Listen to me. There's three Hebrew boys. They're about to put them in the fire. Huh? Nebuchadnezzar said, you boys, you playing with me? I'm throwing you in the fire right now. <laughs> they didn't say, oh no, please, don't throw us in the fire. Don't do that to us. They said, no, I'm going to throw you in the fire. In fact, increase the fire. Seven times, increase it. Uh, you guys are dying today. Do you know what the answer to the king? What fire? No, no, no. What fire? Tell your neighbor, what fire? What fire? Seriously, devil, you're going to scare me with what fire now? Yeah. What fire? You went to Jerusalem. You burned down our walls with fire. You raped our women with fire. You destroyed the temple with fire. You stole the treasury with fire. And now you're going to scare me with fire? I have been in fire already. I am walking fire already. You've done enough against me that you can no longer intimidate me. Tell the devil today, what fire? What fire? What fire? I survived the divorce, what fire? I survived sickness, what fire? You struck my son, what fire? You're going to scare me with what fire? What fire? What fire are you going to scare me with? I have seen it all. You can take more. You took it already. And I'm not dead. I have been roasted in fire. I have been raised in fire. I have been equipped in fire. What fire are you going to fall me into? What fire? Oh, I'm afraid to fail. You failed already before. What fire? Okay, is there anybody here who can tell the devil with me? What fire? Please tell him again. Tell him again. Tell him again. What fire, Consuela? What fire? Took your two boys away. What fire? Emmanuel. What fire? Bring it on. You took my business away. What fire? You contracted my son. What fire? Put me in. Put me in. Release me in the fire. Crank it seven times. I am angry in my spirit right now. Yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. I give you permission today. Yes. What, fire? what fire? What else? More than this? Yes. We still have rivers to cross. We have mountains to climb. Yes. We have businesses to build. Yes. Churches to open. Yes. Family to build. Yes. What fire? I'm not mad, I am just passionate. Maraka tu kalama de gadaga. Ligedon de brele gedengaya. Ziggy digia. Am I speaking to somebody? I feel something come upon me right now. What fire? Bethia, what fire? What fire? 
Ojo, what fire? Kennedy, what fire? What Juliet, what fire? What, what, what is this fire? What is this fire? More than that? More than what you've been through? More than what it took you through already? More than the struggle you have come through? More than the rejection you have come through? More than the fifth? What fire? What fire? Somebody shot one fire. What fire? Not on our watch. Sit down. No, no, I'll watch. Fire, fire, fire. I'm going to throw in the fire. I'm roasted in fire. I am born in fire. I was raised in fire. I am equipped by fire. I am a flame of fire. And who are the ministers of the Lord? Flames of fire. You can burn me. Increase it the way you want. Marando, go la manda, gaya, raka, tikiti. Some of you are sitting here crying too much. Ha! You, you have been so rejected. I feel so rejected. Aga, you didn't get kicked out. You were released. Right. I'm going somewhere this morning. I feel like I need to come and preach here. <coughs> Aga, you have not been despised. You know, Sarah said, kick it out. Kick it, kick it out. Life is about perception. Aga think she's been rejected. Kicked out. Not knowing she's been released. Now watch this. Whenever God allowed things to happen in your life, it's because they have seen already 40, 60, 70 years. I will tell you the truth. Matole matala kataya. One day, Joseph was put in the hole. That's right. We call it pit. Yeah. One day. Joseph was not a human being. He was a seed. He was a sperm. Because God has to plant him in the womb of a mother. The first surrogate woman. Egypt. Because God wanted to birth a nation. And he can birth a nation without a seed. And he cannot birth a nation without a womb. So Joseph was a seed. Egypt was a womb. Now who's going to deliver the seed in the womb? So God said to himself, I need a transporter. And then for, when the seed was about to release, the transporter come. You know who was the transporter? Ishmael. If Ishmael was not released from the house of Abraham, no, no, let, let me help you. You're not catching this. You think that you lost something, not knowing you've been set up for something greater. Am I speaking to somebody? You think people reject you and push you around and rob you and steal from you. You've been set up for something greater. When Israel, when the people of God was still walking on feet, the Ishmael have invented a caravan that now I call that an accelerated delivery system. Are, are you catching me? Yes, sir. Yes. Because this seed, Joseph, yeah. has to be delivered quickly yes. in the womb of the first surrogate mother, yes. Egypt. Yes. Therefore, Ishmael has developed a technology. You see, God makes people feel like they kick you out, not knowing they are just setting you up for greater measure of invention. And then now, Ishmael carried the seed. Delivery system. Marando, go bagalagada. The reason you've been pushed around is because God is setting you up to be the delivery system for somebody. I am speaking to all my delivery systems. Find me because I have to get to a place. I hear me. Don't cry too much on what people did wrong against you. Yes. You know, l- lately I changed my prayers. <laughs> I just don't thank God anymore for people who bless me. I thank them for people who didn't bless yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to put it this way. I-, I just don't thank God for people who helped me. I thank God for people who didn't yeah. help me. Yeah. Because if they have helped me, 
they will have kept me. But they can't keep me. Because what I have in me is greater than what they could do for me. So they have to hate me so I can become more of a God lover. If they have loved me, they will have robbed me away from my God. Am I speaking to somebody today? So stop crying. Because there is a greater thing ahead for you. Ishmael, you have not been kept out. Ishmael, you have been released. Somebody say, I've been released. Say it again, I've been released. Say it again, I've been released. You have been released. Come on, give a clap offering to the Lord. Because you have been released in the name of Jesus. We are not going backward, friends. We are going forward. They can mock us into destiny. We are totally okay with it. Sometimes you need to thank God for the penitence. Penina is a jewel. It's a blessing. Alkana said, baby, Alkana, he said to Anna, baby, you don't need a baby, a child. I'm your baby. I give you double portion. Whatever you need, I give you three times. Don't worry about it. It's okay, don't worry. Anna said, baby, thank God for your love, but you don't get it. There is something void in me. Penina mock her every day. Na, 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 na. <laughs> you don't have a baby. Sometimes you need people to provoke you. So you can get angry. You can get angry. Even if I wanted to fail, I won't fail anymore. Because I don't want them to laugh. <laughs> I don't want them to mock. I don't want make, to make them good prophet. Yes. So by force, by fire. Yes, I say by force, by fire. Yes, Just because of Penina, yes. I'm not in this to give up. That's because of Penina, I'm going to pray a little bit more. Are <laughs> you hearing me? Because of Penina, I'm going to fake a smile. Yes. <laughs> because, because if you see me crying and sad, he, he, she will be happy. So sometimes I just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm speaking to all the men and women that people have been mocking you. Amen. Very soon, Amen. your work will change. Amen. I say soon, your work will change. Amen. You too, you will start having morning sickness, vomit. Yes. Yeah, what's going on? I feel like I, I need more pepper soup. I feel like, what's happening? What's happening? What happening? What happening? Say with me, I am pregnant. What happening? No, you don't believe it. What happened? What happened? So you, you start walking like that too. <laughs> eh, you too. The first shall be. And the last. I might come late. But I'm not coming to give a baby. I'm coming to bring forth a prophet. I must be to somebody this morning. The reason your case has been waiting for so long is because what you're going to deliver is not normal. It's not common. It's not ordinary. Let the baby machine give birth to babies. But you are coming from behind, giving birth to the prophet of Israel. Hallelujah, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I feel like so mad at the devil right now. I got his address. You know, when people know you have an appointment with the king, they try to lock you down in places. Yes. <laughs> Joseph has an appointment to the palace. Yes. They knew it. They lock him. From the pit, lock him. Prison, lock him. Everything was lock, 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 lock. I like this verse. It says, until his word came. And the king sent for him. This is my rima. And I want to prophesy. No matter where they have locked you, far, far away from your place of celebration, I come to declare to somebody that the king is sending for you. The king is sending for you. The king has sent for you. The king has sent for you. The king sent for the king is sending. 
Because there's an issue in the palace only you can solve. I was talking to a long time friend. 30 years we have not talked. No, actually 35. I was just a young boy of 15 years when we parted ways. And uh, now he works somewhere there in Congo. And uh, we end up connecting when I was in Rwanda. Miraculously. On the phone. When I call him, he say, who's it? I said, is this one, this one, this one? <laughs> he said, you call me from where? I said, from Rwanda. Where do you live? I said, I'm, I live in Canada. You know, he, he was so shocked. Because you see, for him, everybody can succeed. But this one? No way. So, no, no, don't tell, tell me he's called me from even more village than the village where he was born. <laughs> then I will recognize it's him. You know, sometimes people write you off. Yes. But when the king calls for you, yes. are you hearing what I'm talking about? They can write you off, lock you off, lock you down, press you down, persecute you, but not abandon, struck down, indestructible. You always find a way to poop out your head again. Are you hearing me? Tell your neighbor the king is calling for you. Now here is the prophetic word. You've been doing very well in the prison. But yet, you're unsatisfied. The king is calling for you. Hallelujah, somebody. Who is the king is calling? Who the king is calling? Somebody say, I am. Who the king is calling? Yeah. Who the king is calling? Yeah. I am the one the king is calling. Yeah. They wanted him to miss his appointment. But I prophesied, you will not be even late at your appointment. Yeah. You will make it on time at your appointment. Because God sent us to break limitations today. Yeah. Jabez broke limitation. We are called to break Limitation. Hallelujah. Genesis 42, 13 says. This is the story. This was the story of the guy who said, at 15 years old, they, they wrote off my destiny. You know, it, it, it can be him. It has to be somebody. He said, your servants had 12 brothers in all. The sons are one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is with your, our father today. The one is no longer alive. Dabba version says is, is no longer. You see, you, they write you off. I, I really want to provoke you to the depth of your being and restore your joy of flow and your peace. That you know your next step is falling in somewhere greater than where you used to be. Do you catch me? I want to break the oppression that is hanging over your head. Yes, amen. So you can recover your smile amen. and walk into radical faith. Amen. So you can throw everything in and dare to believe this God right. who has called us amen. for great things. Hallelujah. I'm closing with this. I was talking to somebody and it was very encouraging. He encouraged me so much and he goes, he said, and we are talking and wisdom is flowing, of course. And he goes and says like this. You know, we are in a place right now where we need to teach people to fish instead of giving them fish. You heard that before? Yeah. <coughs> it sounds amazing, am I right? <laughs> you know, I was about to say, yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> That's it. We need to teach them how to fish, not to give them fish. God said, don't say it. Yes. You are about to counsel your next elevation. I'm about to bring you in my dimension. I really hope you can carry this. I really hope somebody will catch what I caught. The Holy Ghost put my mouth under arrest. He said, he, these proverb people always say, and everybody clap hand for them. We need to teach people how to fish, not give them fish. This is a Chinese proverb or something. Yeah. I mean, they were, ah, yeah, that's it. No, no, no. This is not for me. Yeah. The first level... 
is to give people fish. Second level is to teach them to fish, and we stop there. God said, don't, don't confess the second level because I'm about to bring you to the third level. And he said, and then I told the guy, I don't want to be taught to fish. I want to buy the lake. I want to own, I want to own the lake. I want to own the lake. I want to own the lake. I want to own, the lake. I want to own. Because listen, I want to own the lake. Because if they teach me to fish, the lake owner can decide we are close today. <laughs> but when I own the lake, Amen. I can fish at night. And if I don't catch fish, Peter, even in the morning, I can fish also. Yeah. And if I want to sleep in my boat and fish whenever I want, I can. And there I can learn the way I want to learn. I can learn the Jackie Chan technique. I can learn the Canadian technique. Because I'm not relying on the lake owner. I have become the... I have become the... Who am I talking to? It's time we go up. We don't want to learn to fish. We want to own the lake. I want to... Mama, I want to own the lake. I want to own the lake. I don't want to learn to fish. I want to own the lake. And the fish that is in the lake. So I can fish the way I want. Yes. When I feel like fishing at midnight, I just go at midnight. I don't ask permission to anybody. Tell your neighbor it's time to own. It's time to own. It's time to own. Tell him. Tell the other neighbor. It's time to own. Stand up on your feet. It's time to own. It's time to own. I don't want to learn to fish anymore. I want to buy the whole lake with the fish that's inside. I want to own the whole lake. I want to own the pond. So that I fish when I want. Prophet, I fish when I want. Amen. The way I want. Amen. I catch as much fish I want. Amen. I don't ask permission for somebody to open the door. Amen. You can know how to do it. But if you don't own it, somebody can still control your skills. Amen. That's true. Hold your hand and begin to pray. Everybody on your feet. If you can stand. Touch somebody's shoulders. My ministers. Let's begin to pray in the spirit. It is time to own. 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 Where are my intercessors? Let's rise up in the spirit. It's time to own. I don't want to learn to fish. I want to own. It is time to break the chain. It is time to go up. It's time to move forward. It is time to do something we never done before. Marate lekete marakata. Lagodo mandegele bagosa. This is your time. This is your moment. This is the time. This is your hour. You cannot keep going the way you are going. Let draw the line in the spirit. Marosia. Lagodeborosia. Pantakarakatakaya marabaya. Legoto romasin de lebosi. Lengotaya. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to declare. Begin to confess. It is our time. We will not be right off. It is our time to rise up and to do what we've never done before. We need to dare again. Koloko sakatarabada. Maroke le matakaya. Radogosi aramangea. Le kotoma rakati kalakata. Radogoromanda kati kalakata. Soto mate kete kele kete kete. Kalakata. Prato temara. Arise, lift up your head, oh you gate, lift up your head from the depression, lift up your head from discouragement, continue praying, continue praying. Build up this for me, please, build up this for me. Build it up for me, build it up for me, build it up for me.
celebrate him for enlargement of territory. We give you thanks. Let's give a praise to the Lord today. Let's give him a song of praise today. Let's give him a wild, crazy, radical, crazy, radical praise today. For enlarging of territory. You don't need to change your plan. Step out completely with everything. If God is for us, who can be against us? He is the lifter of my hand. He is for me. Who can be against me? Am I speaking to somebody? Tell your neighbor my capacity has enlarged. Please worship him. Take us up. I want we come and give a praise of worship to the Lord. Let's give a praise. Come on, let's give a praise. We praise. 